Hi guys, Swedish Therapath Ter. This is 14a. This is for clarifying our explanation to the sequence that we're doing on the ground. Um, I, I, I have this feeling today that everything that I put into the Swedish Therapath is actually for not, or in English, fruitless. But I'm trying. Because um, my emotions have enabled me to, to do this because I must have some way to pay my scot. And um, I will show you the swish number in a little bit. But if you know a Swede, ask them to uh, swish me 20, 30 crowns so that at least I can pay something to my Scott so I can pay my taxes. Okay, so in sequence two, we talked about the foot and how it is very important to ladna din battery, which is charge your batteries. And um, I will send, I will put a link into the notes, but this particular man, Doug Fields, wrote an interesting book. It's not the easiest to read, but it, it, it is something I'm getting through, um, plus my other ones. And thank you, Hokan, Swede, thank you for sending this to me. That was so very nice of you. I absolutely love that. So it's about mechanoreceptors, and we're going to get to that in a little bit. But there's something else called electrolytes. These electrolytes, um, our pH in our blood is so very important. And, and I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Some of these small movements in this sequence, it, we talk about Vetska and how we want things to flow. And I'll show you a video at the very end about flow. At least I hope I will. Um, but Doug, um, Doug Fields, PhD at the NIH, um, he talks about all cells in the body have a voltage associated with them. Um, the salts inside the cell and outside are different. And the resulting different electric charges create a biological battery. So just take that small little nugget of information and then watch something with me. So I'm going to uh, share the screen so that we can see um, something on, um, unfortunately I can't share the screen right now. So wait one second. Okay, now I can share it. Yeah, this is a great word if you want to impress any of your friends, piezoelectricity. And, and, and it's the electric charge, it's very small, very, very small. But as we said before, sometimes it's the small things, but uh, certain crystals and, and anybody who's had a Timex uh, watch uh, uh, that kept perfect time, that had a lot to do with crystals. So um, biological structures <clears throat> like bone and DNA and various proteins, you see here it needs to have um, um, a footnote. So principles of instrumental analysis. I mean, this is one of the best things about uh, the internet and the social dilemma is Wikipedia does a great job with trying to uh, always validate their sources. So what I want you to know from here is, is I see something when I see this. And let me get that picture bigger. So when there's mechanical pressure, just like Doug, uh, Donald Ingbar has talked about mechanotransduction, when there's a mechanical load, the electric charge changes. So let's do a small mechanical load with our gummy bond so we can get that um, electric charge changed. So if, if that doesn't make any sense to you, then I will share uh, one of the smartest men out there. I'm, I know there's a lot of smart people, um, but Werner Klinger has done quite a bit of work uh, for fascia, but also uh, physiology. And um, his credentials are top notch. I'm not even going to try to to tell you everything that he has studied and knows. But here he talks about one cell and how the um, minerals that we've talked about, these minerals are in solution around the cell and they have to have a certain balance. So just listen to a few words from him. The sodium needs to pass the positive against positive. They need, they need to pass this electromagnetic shield 
And so if you have a, a good electromagnetic shield, your excitability of the cells will be reduced. Therefore, the pH optimum is very important. You know this yourself if you've got a person who is hyperventilating, you will destroy this electromagnetic shield and you get cramps or muscle cramps. It's basically it's a neurogenic cramps which has been shown recently. So nothing to do with the muscle cells themselves. Okay. I hope you took that. It, it doesn't have much to do with the muscle cells. I'm a massage therapist and I have quite a few people that ask me about the cramps and that a uh, strange uh, feeling up and down the legs, like ants are going up and down their legs. I'm not a doctor, but um, it seems like when those individuals uh, have a little bit more magnesium, they feel better. So let's just get some mechanical load going in our bodies so that we can feel better. So follow me. Here's your swish information. So if you know a Swede, this is a Swedish product and uh, help me pay my taxes. I'm, I'm not trying to avoid them, but it's, it's been not good for Corona and trying to make money if you're self-employed. So lay down on your back, get in a comfortable position, take your Gumi Bond and you can use it Inkelt simple one or I like to double it up. So why don't you try it doubling it up? So double up your gummy bond There Put your leg up and put this around I have kitty hair There So it's around the whole foot then So now, drag the elbows so they are connected to the ground. So when our elbows are connected to the ground, this is effortless. This doesn't take much craft or power on our part. But make sure the elbow is that it's connected to the ground. So the heel, the heel is up. It's pushing up. So this whole back leg is going up towards the ceiling, motoke. Yep. Then we start off with a small circle. Then you're going to hear a change in music a little bit. Um, I do not talk on the one with music. So you're going to have to watch. But I just changed directions. So I went from here to here. Nice. Make sure the other foot is nice and even grounded. So it's not that. No, 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 no. Here. It's grounded. And the knee is pointing up towards the ceiling like it's a headlight. Okay. So now after the small circles, uh, small circular, we go utot. We take the leg out. So we're pulling down and it's going out against resistance. It's going out and out and out. Yeah. And you might hear a couple clicks deep down. It's okay. It might be one of those things that you don't have to, uh, um, definitely don't have to worry about. Oh, something popped up on my screen. So let's finish. I'm so sorry. That's, that's one of those production things. It's only me. All right. So when we're going out and then back up and out and back up. Now, the heel goes down towards the ground. So think about the heel moving down. So hell go narrow. Helen go narrow. The heel goes down to the ground. Now you notice it's not down here. It's just halfway. It's small movements. We're doing small things. Slow and easy and think about your breath. You decide when. Make sure you have some long exhales, please. 
So after that, then we bend the knee towards the chest. So the knee comes towards the chest. Now, a lot of people want to go completely straight. P please, please, small. It's just a little bit. It's a pump. So trampoline hell from out. So just push the heel forward and then let it relax. And push it forward and let it relax. The gummy bond is still uh, on the arch. Hold foot then. After we've done that a few times, then we hold it there. Hold it there. Now, you might not see that I'm shaking, but I am. And the shaking is okay. Take a breath in. Exhale. And then we do that two more times. We hold it. We hold it. We hold it. Don't be worried about the shaking. It is okay. On the suit, exhale, long sant, very long. Good. Now to get to the other side, we put uh, this foot up, and now the left foot goes up, the opposite foot, and we just bring the right one down. So take a hold of the gumi bond and drag this down. Yes. And then we start with the small circles. And then we switch directions. And then we go to the outside, utot. This is only the forklaring. This is the how and the why we're doing sequence 14. So for the music part, C14, not 14A. But you can also watch 14A so that you can try this in bed at night, be singing in on go to sings before you go to bed. Because any time that we can do something small like this against a little bit of resistance or load, we're helping our body. This mechanic transduction is absolutely important for the cells and to charge our batteries. Good. Now we bring the knee to the chest. And when you're ready, we just push the heel forward and then we re let it relax. We push the heel forward and then we let it relax. We do this about four times. Push the heel forward, let it relax. Now we're going to hold it for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let it go slow and easy. You can exhale at this point. Then forward on this in and breathe in. And when you're ready, exhale and let it go. If you can exhale out of your nose, just like you inhale in through your nose, that's great. So now if you can stand it one more minute at Ogen Blink. Okay. So there was a little bit of a um uh a Swedish beck, which is a creek that I walk beside. And I found that it was quite interesting how um, it was flowing just fine. It was flowing very well. Um, and then there was blockage. And so just so that you can see this, because everybody needs to see this at some point, right? Um, this is what happens inside of our body too. Back here, you're going to hear the, the, the beck, the, the creek flowing. But as you can see here, it, it stopped. And so I try to show that it is trying so very hard to have flow, and that's exactly what the body really wants. So this sequence is all about getting some vetska or fluid back into our joints. So try it.
nothing to lose. Thanks for being here. Talk to him, smake you. Hey, doll.